100 days of fixing your website. Today is day three, so make sure to subscribe and follow along. Today's topic is going to be connecting your website to Google Search Console. Now, Google Search Console is a tool designed by Google, available for free for website owners like you, which gives you access to certain key important pieces of data. First, it tells you what keywords your website is ranking for, including AI searches. It also tells you if Google is having trouble accessing your website, that means indexing issues. And third, and probably the most important, it also tells you if Google detects any malware on your website, which in simple words means that Google will notify you if your website gets hacked. Now, the important part is that all of this information will be made available to you only after you connect your website with Google Search Console. And yes, that includes the keyword data as well. That's why it's important to connect your website with Google Search Console as quickly as possible. Ideally, as soon as you start your website, connect to Google Search Console. Let me show you how. So step one, you can Google Google Search Console. The first link should be Google Search Console. Click on it. And this is how the website looks like for Google Search Console. You can see here, just click Start Now. And this is the first time you're using Google Search Console. This is how it's going to look like. You'll have two options to connect with a domain. This will be harder. So use the URL prefix option. Enter the name of the website here. So example, I'll just put in, this is an example.com. You put your website URL here and click the continue button. Once Google does its thing, you'll see all these options, the HTML file and some other method. What you should do is use the HTML tag option because that's the easiest. So click on it and you'll see this meta property. Just click to copy this meta tag. Now, all that you have to do is take that HTML snippet we copied and add it to a home page. Now, if you have experience editing the pages on your site, you're good. But if you don't know how to do that, let me show you a simpler method. On your WordPress website, go to the plugin section, go to add plugin section and search for all in one SEO. Abbreviation works as well. A-I-O-S-E-O. -E this is the plugin. I already have it active on my site. You should install and activate it and then the next steps will happen. Once the plugin is installed, go to all in one SEO on the menu here and look for general settings. Inside general settings, you'll find webmaster tools. Inside the webmaster tools, you can actually paste the tag right here in the miscellaneous verification. But there's an advantage if you use the dedicated option for Google Search Console. You can click this button here and it'll open this pop-up where you can click this and it'll open up a pop-up and ask you to connect your website to Google Search Console directly. Now, both methods can work, the miscellaneous tag or the connection tag. But the connection tag has an advantage. If you connect using your account the way I just demonstrated, then all in SEO can start fetching data about which keywords your website is ranking for directly in the WordPress admin area as well. Which means you won't have to log into Google Search Console to find the right information, which saves you time and gives you extra benefits. So make sure to connect your website with Google Search Console using all in SEO and follow me for day four.